Hello and welcome everybody and thank you guys for joining me again. My name is Wilkie and I'm here with another, yeah, guy. Though I wouldn't really call it beginner's guide at this point anymore. If you made it this far into the game, which we're currently in Papunika as you can see, I don't really think you guys qualify as beginners anymore. However, since people have requested to also showcase the progress past the tier 1 and tier 2 system, here we are. This also kind of... I might actually chop this video up and make this into the Across Express story mission. Because I am about to finish this soon. But you can see that we finished the Papunika storyline so we can get this reward. We can't get this reward just yet. Because in order to do that, we need to hit item level 1302. As you can see, currently we are flat 1100 or 1100 item level, which is what we left Peyton with by making all of our equipments plus 15. You've seen that, or maybe you've seen that in the other guide video. So, um, so far nothing really extraordinary really has happened here. So, what I did then is, as I just showed you, proof of this little node here. I finished the Papunika story. You can see that there's a bunch of quests here that I didn't do. So there's gonna be a couple side quests here and there scattered across that I will have to lump up together. So you literally see that I just did story missions here again, and that's all you really need. What you need to do then is actually still the same what you did before, and that is doing Chaos Dungeons and switching to the new gear. So what you have to do is once you do actually have the storyline finished, you will then be able to go to Paponika Stardust, obviously you will only be able to do the first one, and this one long-awaited festival is the dance scene. Uh, which you have to do and if you take a look at the possible rewards you can see the stardust equipment is item level 1302 which is the equipment that you're going to be transferring to so as per usual i'm going to do the one or two chaos dungeons really depends on how good my drop lock is and i'll catch you guys after that so here we are after the first chaos dungeon you can see that i only spent 50 energy and we have a full set we have a weapon we have a helmet we have armor we have gloves we have shoulders that's one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. That's all we need. So we're actually gonna just progress into the final step of the Across Express. And like I said, this also kind of functions as a beginner's guide series. But to be fair, I think you guys know the drill by now. So what we're gonna be doing now is heading towards that NPC, which we've all seen countless times by now quick and easy enough you always have the two options like i could just slap this on but you can also do the recycle option i personally think there is not really a point to recycle um it's only gonna save you one level which really isn't uh that much in the long deal on the other hand it's twenty thousand shillings which which obviously for me those 20k shillings were like absolutely not uh worth the trouble if you were to upgrade the sword manually you would have to spend citrines so you're somewhat spending saving citrines and everything by transferring so i guess in terms of saving materials for very little shilling cost i guess recycle because at this point in time you're no longer going to get the free plus two plus four plus six plus eight upgrades but instead what you're then going to be doing is you're going to be left with the normal upgrading path and that means no extra boosts, no reduced cost, no nothing of that sort, but the standard equipment path. So, we're just going to transfer over all the equipment pieces. We have a helmet, we have a weapon now. It's also fairly easy to see. So, we need armor, let's see, 63 grade. I mean, that's the first case dungeon, so don't expect, like, super good grades to be dropped here. Not that it really matters, because that blue gear... It's for the most part probably going to be replaced fairly soon, so shoulders, gloves, and pants. We actually have a 70 grade pants, and so in total you're spending 120,000 shillings for a, you know, a save in plus one of those upgrades. So we have shoulders left to do, 49, that's uh, still fairly good, and then we have gloves left to do. Like I said, you probably need multiple runs, like I said, I also had relaxation bonus, so keep that in mind. And even with that relaxation bonus, I only had like two shoulders, two pants, and two gloves. So, we have a full set. Currently, we're zero item level, so we're going to transfer this. 
and that and that and that and that and we're missing shoulders so that puts us at a flat 13 is 04. Now you're gonna see like these arrows pointing down because you're now in tier 3 content or tier 3 item level. And the game tells you that accessories that you have used before are gonna be trash tier. Luckily, the game awards us with some extras. So we're gonna take that. I'm gonna filter this so this doesn't mess up. And this is something we got. And those are free accessories, which uh, will boost our attack power considerably one last thing that i want to give you guys is i did this with just those engravings i never use any extra engravings or anything extra the only extra thing that i have again compared to new player are runes and skill points so this can be done with very minimalistic gear just to give you guys a heads up and we can see we have attack power 12k let's equip those and now we are at 14,000. so this is pretty good these are not uh, to be dismantled we're just going to trash them. As you can see, they're also having better stats than uh, like better strength and stuff. So personally, I would just say dismantle everything because engravings on uh, blue tiers are are horrible to get. Like they're, they're, they're really bad to manage. Uh, we can't actually, you have to sell those equipments. So what we saved is some shillings and some, some citrines and some armor and some weapon crystals. What you have to do now is basically play the real game. So until level six, it'll cost shillings. And starting from level six, you'll actually be forced to spend uh, gold for upgrades. And this is where we're probably make a new guide as well. So I don't want to drag this out too much. The, th the main thing here is the Actrasa Express is now done. So I can take this reward here. I can take that reward. That is one million shillings. That's a fairly good word and some engraving books. And on top of that, you get the huge, super huge reward with um, four, 14 days, actually, of Beatrice's and Evening's Blessing, some uh, C coins, a lot of card decks, some actually 30k powered coins is actually fairly decent, some enchant materials and some hot tickets. So we're going to take that. Boom, et voila. And we are officially done with the Akrasia Express. So that leaves it for that. As far as the guide goes, I can't really give you all that many more guides. These things are bound, so obviously you yeah, just uh, consume them, consume that. We're gonna consume all of this. Get some more shillings. I think that was like another one million shillings or something. Um, we're gonna sort the inventory later. What we're gonna do now is I will push that upgrade. See, it's still 100%. Still 100%, but as you can see, this is actually a lot more expensive, and all of a sudden we need new materials. Something that I think I actually have somewhere on my account, just uh, just uh, not here. Apparently, I don't have any of these. So this is something that I have to go buy in order to get those materials, those crystals. You have two options really. The first one is fairly easy; just buy them from other players who crafted them. So you go to your auction house. Go into Machant Materials, and I think it's Enhancing Materials. That's actually not Enhancing Materials, it's Operate Materials. So, you can filter that if you want, it doesn't really matter. But so these are the stones that we need. As you can see, they're... I wouldn't say they're cheap, but they're, they're not overly expensive. As a new player, it might be better off to craft them in your estate. Whichever way you do, always take a look at the materials and the cost, because crafting them also costs gold. So it might not always be worth it spending your time crafting them. It might just be better off for you to buy them. Like I said, this is really all I can give you. I have some extra materials lying around here. And I'll probably see you guys at item level 1370, which is the next and probably the last guide series that I will be doing for this one. So I do hope this was helpful as usual. Um, you can find me on Twitch, usually on Mondays and some other days. I play Lost Ark, New World, and some other games as well. So feel free to check out my Twitch channel in the description below. As well as my other social medias, I frequently use Twitter and Discord as well. So if you want to use those instead, be free to do so. Other than that, I do hope this was helpful. Hope you all are um, having a good journey and using those events to boost yourself up. And I'll see you guys next time. So do stay safe. And I'll see you guys around.